Hi there everybody, it's Rarity here from inkybutterfly.com. Thank you for joining me today for um, this card tutorial. We're going to be using a Simply Fabulous stamp set today. Really, really great um, introductory stamp set for anyone who's new um, to card making and stamping. Um, really, really enjoying uh, this to make really nice, fast, simple, but beautiful cards. Um, we've got all a nice combination of foliage and flowers with um, some great bold sentiments too. So really nice introductory set for you. Um, this is the card that we're making. Now the, the layout and everything is, um, is one that I use a lot but it is also um, part of a sketch challenge. So this is for the Inspire Create challenge uh, over the next couple of weeks. So if you just pop over to the, um, to the website there the link will be in the description. You can also participate in that challenge and have the kudos of being declared uh, an Inspire Create Challenge winner. Okay, so um, it's a simple sketch just with the with the layers uh, and stuff. So it gives you a real blank canvas to what you can create. So I opted for this, something nice, quick, clean and simple. Okay, using this wonderful photopolymer uh, stamp set. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is um, re replicate this card just using some slightly different colours. So I'm, I'm swapping out um, the pink here. This is Melon Mambo. This is one of my favourite brights. Um, and I'm going to substitute that in for the gorgeous grape. Now, of course, there are like a bajillion different <laughs> combinations you could probably use uh, for this depending on whether you want to go bright and bold or uh, a little bit more subtle. So this is what we're making. And of course, I've also um, pre-prepared all the layers, all right? So standard car base, which I always do in the thick basic white, which is an A4 sheet sliced in half. So the, that is roughly four and one eighth of an inch and then scored at five and seven eighths of an inch okay so that's the um standard card base and then i've got um card layers here in just in black and white so the black layers so this larger one is what i call a full card front layer so this, that's four by f um five and three quarters and then the white layer over the top is an eighth of an inch smaller than that. So you just knock it back a mark on your on your trimmer that you use. Or you always use the uh, Stampin' Up trimmer. I think it's got nice clear marks on it. And then the the uh, companion set, if you like, the, the this black and white layer, are one eight one inch. Sorry, not one eighth. One inch shorter and narrower than both of those. So that's an inch shorter or narrower and that's an inch shorter than narrower than that okay so that's how you work that out then of course um you can play about with your measurements on this and make it shorter narrower whatever and obviously if you're in the us and you're using your eight and a half by eleven you'll be using slightly different measurements too but that's um what i've got uh, so this is the bit that we're doing the stamping on this bit is just going to be layered and put onto the back of the card so we might as well just get that done and then it's ready to receive our stamped portion so just use a bit of stamping seal there which is my go-to adhesive you just use whatever you're most comfortable with layering that down and just popping that onto the card base and then it's ready to go once so I've done all the stamping so we'll just pop that ready nice and easy line up I, I tend to line up my bottom edges there and then the rest should just take care of itself good sharp crease on there will make sure that it stands up nicely for you all right it doesn't do the splits on you okay so we'll pop that to one side and the little black layer will pop to one side and we're just using on using this small portion to do our stamping all right so what we need to do first is mask off a little section here okay so i'm going to bring in um one of these deluxe mats i've got two of these um they they go with your stamparatus 
um, that's what they're designed for but they're great to work on because it's a white clean surface it's got um, foam underneath it so it's a great cushioning for your um, photopolymer stamps which we're using today so I'm just positioning that in place just for a minute because I want to put um, a strip of low tack tape across um, the middle here um, I use this decorators tape um, which is really low tack but even though it is low tack I still take a little bit off and I'm just going to pick out a line on the uh, grid here which is why I'm using the grid I've got the, the mini grid paper as well so if you wanted some things that you can just throw away you, you can do that but the beauty of this is that I'm not throwing away stuff all the time I can just wipe this clean and reuse it I know that I already know from my sample that my sentiment is a little um, deeper than just a single strip. I know it's going to be um, three of these squares, which I believe are centimetres on this. It is a metric thing. Okay. So I've masked off that portion, which we can stamp our sentiment on later. And then the rest of it, we can just take that off now. That was just holding it in place while I got the um, other bit on we can um, do our stamping on. And we know it's straight because it's already on this grid. I've just picked up one of my uh, blending brushes, um, this lighter green one. On the original one, I picked up my dark green brush. brush. Not adding any ink to it, I'm just gonna use whatever's there and just pop a little bit over the top of there. Totally optional, but I think it's really good um, to, um, a bit of fluff there. It really emphasises that uh, that central panel, in my opinion. So I think this is a nice addition if you if you can do it. Um, a sponge or something like that would would also do a do um, a similar thing. Just test it out on some scrap first before you go to your project. I'm just make sure you're get, get, gonna get a nice colour. Just gonna pop that back in there because that's done its business and you probably can't see a whole lot there um, but when we peel back that masking that's going to be um, really really cool. already got my uh, stamps put up I'm using B blocks today um, for those okay and this is the gorgeous grape ink that I've got here just going to do some light tapping on the ink pad and because the stamps are see-through. It's going to be dead easy for us to position these where we want them. Okay. Now, whilst this looks like a reasonably, uh, shall we say, symmetrical flower, um, you'd be surprised how obvious it is if you don't sort of turn and twist your stamp so that you get different orientations. So I just sort of give it a quick twist in my hands before I pop the ink down onto the cardstock. Um, would recommend not dropping it onto your work though. Um, so if you've got any worries about that, do your twist and turny part away from your project. And we just I'm just popping in some bits around the edges because it just makes it look more complete when you have that kind of stuff and um, just hanging over the edge here and there okay even just these little bits just poking out here and there okay and believe it or not corners are a bit of a thing but I think I might to be able to catch that one with a leaf so we'll, we'll see how that one goes so I think we're done with that which is fine um, and then we can clean off those stamps on our stamp chutney which I've just got off to one side here away that ink and we're going to bring in the leaf and granny apple green and we're going to add leaves to the flowers light tapping on the ink pad uh, I know for a fact that this ink is a little bit on the dry side so I'm just making sure that that's um, 
well inked before I bring it to my paper. I'm just trying to make them look like they're actually associated with a with a flower rather than just hanging about in midair. And of course, because they're see-through, we can do that quite easily. So this is nice and quick and easy um, to do. And again, you know, just pop, pop a couple of bits here and there to just make it feel like um, there's something beyond it and it doesn't just stop, if you know what I mean. I want to catch this corner, so that's that done. I wonder if we can squeeze one in there close to the other one but yeah let's do that okay so because that's way off there you can't tell whether it's actually sort of connected or not if you know what I mean I think we might need one coming here and then one off here like so okay so again I can just pop a couple of tips of something there and there Maybe down here a little bit as well okay so when you think you're you're happy with um what you got stop <laughs> okay i think uh it's all too tempting just to um keep going with these things um but there's a point at which you need to just just stop all right okay so we can now um peel back this um tape so i'm just going to just be mindful that any ink on that tape is going to still be wet so just be careful of that and when you're peeling back tape peel it right back on itself like this and it is less likely to um pull up your paper pull up your cardstock okay so there we are with our let me just pop that right out of the way so that it's not going to get on my um onto my fingers so hopefully now you can see how much of a difference that um little bit of ink makes by to just define um that that little central panel here okay and this guy we can just wipe clean um with an ever so damp ever so slightly damp uh, cloth. Where's my spritzer bottle gone? So I've got a little um, spritzy thing that, um, that I use, which seems to have vanished off my desk. Someone borrowed it, not returned it. But anyway, the, the majority of that is off now and that's ready to, um, I would just uh, make sure that that's off. Um, and completely clean if I could find my spritz bottle um, but that's that's fine that's all ready for next time so now we can just do our uh, sentiments which we're going to use the stamparatus for so you know combining you know the the sort of hand stamp block sorry about the glare on my light there okay so the stamparatus tool is great because um, we're going to be able to position this exactly where we need where we need the stamp to go so here we are I've got another deluxe mat I do in my stamparatus so it's ready you need the mat when you're using photopolymer stamp sets so just double checking the positioning on there just in case the the cardstock's been cut slightly different or whatever uh, so I'm just checking that my positioning is still absolutely fine for that I'm going to use one of these one of the magnets so you get two with your stamparatus it's going to pop one of them right there so that we can keep that in place putting the stamp case underneath my um, panel here just to give it some support and so the stamps just here <laughs> you probably can't see it through the um, thing and this is just memento Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, water-based ink. So we're going to go across and stamp that. So that's actually stamped pretty good the first time round. But just to be sure, to be sure, and get a really nice deep black sentiment, we're going to go again. 
and we can do that because we know that that hasn't moved it's in exactly the same position if you're hand stamping you wouldn't be able to do that well say you wouldn't it'd be difficult to achieve it in so precisely that that is probably a, a fairer um, description of that just get that cleaned with the stamping chamois well loved stamping chamois look at the color of that okay you can stick them through the washing machine i'm told i just give mine a good rinse with some um warm water every now and again and just get the residual ink out not bother by the staining so that's our panel easy super quick when we're done all we have to do now is layer that onto our little black panel that we have ready you could pop this onto dimensionals as well um, have to this is um, a rare uh, card for me in terms of usually there's some dimensionals uh, in use somewhere along the line but I am doing a flat card today like I say you could easily pop that up add some ribbon whatever um, in my case I'm just going to add a few rhinestones um, do you like doing that these are just the plain basic rhinestones um, I'm going to do my usual trio got three sizes in the pack so I'm just going to use one of each of those if it will obviously doesn't want to participate that one there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy hope you like it I'm gonna say colors well you could just go to town with your colors and uh, pick something that you want or something that you know that your recipient will like so i hope you've enjoyed that do um click on the links in the description have a closer look at the products i've used today and if you want to participate in the challenge yourself there'll be a link there too thanks for joining me today hope you're staying safe and well and i'll see you soon take care bye